Hello, well, thanks for tuning in to today's third video. Looking at the German season model for today's uh, third video. So, uh, we're going to be going through October, November, December, basically Q4 of uh, 2023. We'll be looking at the uh, 500 bill of bar height and longness initially, and then we'll look at the uh, detail within that uh, prediction for temperature, precipitation, and wind direction as well. So, I should get some of that for you in a second. This, of course, is ahead of the uh, first winter 2023-24 season model roundup. They're going to be released on Saturday. That will normally be released on the last Saturday of um, of uh, September, which this year is going to actually be the 30th. There's like following Saturdays in uh, September this year, uh, usually. Um, but anyway, I want to get it uh, done out of the way uh, this weekend. It just works out better, you know, with, with other things like live streams and that. So um, the uh, first uh, Winter 2023-24 season one roundup is going to be released on Saturday at 10 a.m. And the JMA will form part of that update, as it always does. But you can get so much information from the JMA but we always like to take this one out, look at it in its own terms, and, uh, and whatnot. So that's what we're going to do for this one. Because we've got, like, another 14 models from the World League Broadcast Centre to go at in uh, Season 1 Roundup. So we won't have time to look at it in depth. So that's the plan for this one. I'll get on with it for you in a second. Just say that first video release today was our 6M uh, UK weather forecast. And we've also uh, released the XN USA forecast. Check out those two vids if you would like to do that. Like, share, subscribe on all of today's videos. Content, make sure it's doing that. could be live streaming at 6pm this evening. We'll live stream our 10 to 14 days, so I should see you uh, hopefully a little bit later on. Right, let's start off with the month one 500 millibar height anomaly from the Arctic and the North Pole view down. So, this is the North Pole just here, of course, got wider Arctic circle around there. Then the big black tubes are through here. So, blue is extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure, yellow, orange, and red to above average heights, which is high pressure. This is the 500 millibar height time for October. Looks anti cyclonic in the North Atlantic and into uh, the UK and Western Europe as well. So, high pressure is in control there. It will be a mostly dry, settled uh, October if that came off. I think this area is probably going to be. Trough of low pressure and down here as well. So it looks like I've got a bit of a cut off low off the coast of Portugal, actually, which in combination with the high pressure over this country could bring up some quite warm air from the south at times. So maybe a dry and warm October being indicated there. Uh, now that's November. So in November, it looks like the high pressure is going north. It's going more towards Scandinavia to Greenland. Low pressure is uh, developing in the Atlantic to the south and west of the country. So a bit of a battle going on there, I think. The low pressure tries to bring unsettled conditions in off the Atlantic. We've got high pressure to the northeast, probably still trying to maintain anticyclonic weather, bringing easy winds. That could get quite interesting, because that could bring in some quite cold air from off the continent, especially as November progresses. So maybe a little bit of cold potential there, um, but also turning increasingly unsettled, perhaps, with that trough of low coming in from off the Atlantic. And then that's December. Look away now if you want a cold December. This doesn't look uh, great for a cold December. We've got low pressure and taking over in the Atlantic. High pressure down towards Spain. Winds coming in from off the Atlantic like that. So just an Atlantic driven, mild, wet, windy and zonal uh, December. Zonal start to winter 2022-23. Uh, that's the overall 500 millibar height anomaly for October to December. Quite anticyclonic, especially so to the northeast. Remember, that's particularly down to October, though. Uh, and then we get the transition through November to December to more unsettled weather. Right, so the uh, UK and Ireland's in the top right hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it on this view. This is a bit tropical view. Can't see Greenland, Arctic, Scandinavia, those areas off the chart up here. But as we've had a look at that view down, we know, you know, we know what's going on. So, reminder of the uh, month one, 500 millibar high time for October. Anticyclonic high pressure sits right over top of the country. So, um, lots of dry weather coming you would have thought. The temperature normally hints at being average to above average. We're close to those yellow colours in the Atlantic. Um, and also go for a dry and average month, which of course you expect with high pressure in the ascendancy. So a, a warm and dry October being indicated there. First, the mean wind direction is concerned. It's also a little bit easterly. So, um, I mean, that could start to 
bring some cooler air in from off the continent, I suppose. It's, it's in October, aren't going to be overly warm, depending on the origins of the air, but they are actually looking a little bit north of these. So maybe I've overdone the uh, temperature, um, the warm temperature possibility. So perhaps it's a rather cooler signal for October, really, with those east northeast of it. But uh, a very, very dry signal in any case. Now, as we go through into November, then we find that the high pressure begins to push back north to it northward so if you could envisage that Scandinavia will be up here Greenland will be over there for example so quite a bit of high pressure in that area lower pressure just to our west and uh, looks like it could be a little bit of a battle going on between the high pressure and between uh, the low pressure as well in November the temperature anomaly again it's just a little bit above average not much of a signal it's a more unsettled bump as well. So uh, we have above average precipitation. What's the wind direction doing in um, November? So you can see that just to our east, we're pulling, it's worth talking about these black arrows out, but just to our east, we're actually pulling in easterly winds through here. And then um, to our west, we kind of bring up like a southerly southeasterly, I suppose. Um, with westerlies down here. So it's a complicated pattern, but I reckon there might be a little bit of cold potential in that November. But certainly it's more unsettled thing. So um, we have got precipitation to work with. And if we start to drag in some cold air from off the continent as November progresses, it's, it's a cooling month, of course, then uh, we might we might get some um, early wintry weather there. And then go through the through to December and low pressure takes over from the Atlantic, high pressure down towards Spain, winds coming in from uh, west southwest. So that's just uh, uh, a mild and uh, unsettled signal for uh, December. Above average temperatures by about one to two degrees, and as far as precipitation is concerned, above average rainfall, so warmer and wetter than normal. And you will not be surprised to know that the mean wind direction for December is set westerly <laughs> with the black arrows. There they are coming across the Atlantic. So that looks very zonal and uh, wet and windy in December to start off our winter of 2023 24. Um, this is a free monthly uh, mean overall. So again, uh, we have a bit of an anticyclonic flavour. That's particularly down to October in the, uh, in, in, the, in the fourth quarter, in October to December. The temperature anomaly is around to a little above average. The mildest month to average looks to be December, really. Um, uh, Precipitation-wise, actually, it's rather a, a wetter than average um, period there, which is, again, somewhat unusual so uh, i'm not <laughs> not sure what accounts for that to be honest i'm not sure i've got that right i got that right yeah three monthly mean um october December. so what should what accounts for that because um well i suppose yeah it is a little bit more unsettled in, in november as well as december so that's probably right the mean wind direction is uh is some um, variable actually so just to our west we've got westerlies um we've got easterlies over here as well so um no, it's a transitional uh, thing from, from high pressure being in the ascendancy in October to low pressure very much being in the ascendancy by the time you get to uh, December. Okay, so that's how it's looking. Not great if you've got a cold start to winter, but remember, that's the third month, so it's most unreliable. Strongly signalling an anticyclonic October, I have to say. So, um, you know, we'll see how that works out. It will be that the gas weather of this autumn forecast is probably a bust. Never mind, uh, we are expecting that we're going to get a stinker before too much long because we've had a pretty decent run, so I think the autumn uh, forecast might be going down the tubes. But once more, it is only like a, a one model forecasting mess, so, um, and you know, any forecast beyond five to seven days always comes with large health warnings and pinches of salt attached to it. That's how it's looking anyway. So when we do a season one roundup uh, on Saturday, you will know in detail um, what the JMA is showing for the next three months. We're going to be back later on at 6pm live streaming our 10 to 14 days. So I shall see you uh, for that one. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.